Here are 10 neighborhoods you need to know in Boise, Idaho. There are so many different areas and communities spread out across Boise that it's hard to pick out just 10. But we've got to start somewhere, right? So I will cover a variety of different neighborhood styles from historical to established to new master plan communities. But no, this is only scratching the surface of what is available in the Boise area. If you take one thing away from this video about Boise, it has a little bit of everything. And stay tuned till the end when I reveal my personal favorite neighborhood in the city of Boise. Let's start with Southeast Boise, which is one of the most sought after areas to move to in Boise because of its access to everything Boise has to offer. Wherever you are in East Boise, you are either within a bike rides distance from the Boise River and its clean belt or at most a few miles away. And then just a few miles to the east is Lucky Peak State Park where you can boat during the summer, and if you're a snow skier, then you're only 25 miles away from Bogus Basin Ski Mountain. You're close to Boise State University and Micron Technology Campus, which employs over 5,000 people locally. You really can't beat its location. It's framed by the Boise foothills to the north and the high desert plains to the south. The thing about Southeast Boise is there are so many communities within its boundaries, but let's talk about two. Columbia Village and Surprise Valley, which sit just north of the Micron Technology Campus. Columbia Village, which is very family-friendly, surrounds the Simplot Sports Complex. It's a 160-acre special-use area with soccer fields and baseball fields and playgrounds. There are miles of walking and biking paths, and it's also an area known for scenic hiking and biking trails. There are approximately 1,800 homes within this well-established master plan community, and the median home price is around $450,000. Half the homes sold are below the median price and half the homes are above that price. It truly is just a midpoint. Surprise Valley is made up of approximately 500 households and that has a mix of single family homes and condos. Surprise Valley is surrounded by a 52 acre common area park and pools. The properties themselves tend to be larger and more spread out than the neighboring Columbia Village so the median home price is around 840,000. If we travel north over the Boise River, we find the newer community of Harris Ranch, which is part of a larger area known as Barber Valley. Harris Ranch also enjoys the close proximity to recreation of East Boise with the river and Lucky Peak nearby. It offers a mix of single family homes and townhomes surrounding the areas between the foothills and the river and the high desert. Here you'll find parks and Idaho Shakespeare Festival, retail areas creating this super convenient living environment where people can grab a cup of coffee at the local sandwich shop or grab a glass of wine at a cafe. And the neighborhood of Harris North puts you in the Boise foothills overlooking the valley. Median home price in Harris Ranch is around $812,000. But let's head to the Boise foothills, where you will find a number of different neighborhoods that are popular for their super convenient access to hiking and biking trails on the ridge to river trail system. In some cases, it is literally out your back door. And of course, because you're in the foothills, many of the homes have spectacular views overlooking Boise. The Warm Springs Mesa is one such neighborhood. Its historical significance has to do with geothermal hot springs that attracted settlers to this area. And Warm Springs is primarily a residential neighborhood, but the Idaho Botanical Gardens can be found there. The median home price is just over $1 million for this mix of historic homes and newer builds. There are restrictions to the amount of homes that can be built in the Boise foothills, as a way of preserving the natural landscape. The east end of Boise is situated along the Boise River. It has a mix of historical architecture, including craftsman-style homes and bungalows. As a well-established community, it has tree-lined streets and a strong sense of neighborhood character. It's close to Julia Davis Park, one of Boise's premier parks, 
but the East End also features some newer developments, so there's definitely a blend. The median home price in the East End is $660,000. But before I move on to the university area, let me introduce myself. I am Erica Tafel, Global Real Estate Advisor with Group One Sotheby's International Realty. I specialize in helping you relocate to Boise, Idaho, or any of its surrounding cities from wherever you're moving from. If you need help with any of your real estate needs, reach out. My information is on the screen. And be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified every time I drop a new video. And if you're watching on your television, you can scan the QR code on your screen for more video options. The area surrounding the university is notable because it's close to Boise State University and downtown. So the area attracts students, faculty, administration, those working downtown who want more affordability. The area definitely has a college vibe. How could it not? And you'll find apartments here along with multi-family and single-family homes. The area is well established and it definitely makes a great option for investing. So if that's a consideration for you or if you have a student who would be attending Boise State University, investing around the university should always be a consideration. The median home price is around 485,000. And in all honesty, the area probably trends higher in price than what you think it should for what you get simply because of the proximity to the university. Downtown Boise is super vibrant. It has businesses, boutiques, shopping, and dining. But unlike so many capital cities, this downtown is super safe and clean. In the downtown area, you tend to find apartments and condos providing that urban feel. Median home price is 650,000, but obviously the homes tend to be smaller. The depot bench is named after the historic Boise Union Pacific train depot that began service in 1925. It's played an instrumental role in the early growth of Boise as it served as a transportation hub to the west. The area features a mix of residential housing. You'll find historic homes and more modern developments, including condos. You will also find the large Ann Morrison Park, which divides the depot bench from downtown Boise. And that's where they hold the annual Spirit of Boise Hot Air Balloon Classic each year. The depot bench is elevated probably 60 feet above Ann Morrison Park, allowing many homes to have views of the Boise River, the foothills, and downtown. Median sales price is 490,000 there, but those aren't the homes with the views. Now the Boise bench extends beyond just the depot and all of the bench plays a significant role in the area's history dating back to the 1800s when it was first settled by the pioneers. The bench area was attractive to the settlers because of its elevation, allowing these early settlers to see out across the valley. But you have a blend of architectural styles throughout this area. The homes definitely trend older, which is why the median home price is 420,000. This can be a great neighborhood to explore as a first time home. Pop quiz, which major railroad had a depot in Boise? A, Amtrak, B, Canadian National, C, Union Pacific, D, Norfolk Southern. First viewer to comment the correct answer below will get a video response from me. My favorite neighborhood in all of the city of Boise is the historic North End. It has this super iconic Harrison Boulevard and charming and very social Hyde Park district. The North End is known for its blend of Victorian and craftsman style homes, and the neighborhood takes pride in preserving that historical charm. So I couldn't tell you that some community was my favorite without showing you what it was. So I am down here in the North End on Harrison Boulevard, where it is historic, iconic, super charming. The thing that I love about Harrison Boulevard is that Every Halloween, they shut it down to vehicular traffic so that it's just the pedestrians are safe and the neighborhood goes all out for its holiday celebration. So anyhow, this is Harrison Boulevard, the North End. Let's go take a look at one of these charming cottages. It looks and feels like old Hollywood to me. The Northern sits between downtown and foothills, so it has the best of both worlds. 
in that it can be close to the vibrant social shopping scene of downtown Boise, while also being close to the foothills for outdoor recreation. The median home price in the North End is just over 700,000, but it's not uncommon to find multi-million dollar mansions that are nearly 100 years old. I'll say it again. This video gives a broad overview of communities you will find in East and Central Boise, but there are so many other neighborhoods to discover that I didn't get a chance to cover today, like Dry Creek Ranch or Hidden Springs or West Boise that each have their own unique feel. And I will dive more into Boise communities in another video soon. But if there are neighborhoods you are curious about, comment them below and I can provide additional information or reach out and let's have a one-on-one -on -one discussion about which Boise neighborhood feels right for you. For more videos about relocating to Boise, Idaho or anywhere in the Treasure Valley and for real estate tips in general, make sure to check out one of the other videos on the screen. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.